Okay. So, this is actually going to be day 11 supplemental. It's still early uh, in day 11. And I just wanted to log a phenomenon uh, that's uh, also occurring now. Uh, might as well make a note of it here. Um, what it is, is uh, it's, it's uh, kind of amazing, really. Um, I'm actually, I actually find myself waking up for the alarm. It's happened numerous times, and I haven't really made mention of it, but it's been going on for a number of uh, phases now where I actually am waking up before the alarm rings. It's, it's, it's almost like I knew it was going to ring and I was waking myself up before it happened. Which is also very interesting. It, you know, I kind of hesitate to mention, you know, a possible theory about that because I've also experienced a similar, and other people have too, in regards to their dream journals. I used to keep a dream journal a lot. And uh, Patricia Garfield, uh, who was probably the number one dream journal person in the world, I suppose, um, even greater than, uh, what was that guy's name, Van S or something, or Van Essen or something, I don't remember. But um, anyway, she also noticed this phenomenon where the this, this subconscious mind, while you're dreaming, will know that you're about to wake up and then will mention this fact in your dream. So it's just really interesting, and I, I'm wondering how much there is to that. Um, but and I think there's some truth to it. I think there's the mind somehow knows about these external elements and is aware of them. And that's uh, it's just my personal theory there. But anyway, uh, that's going on too, so that's a plus. Also, I think I'm really close to adapting. You know, number I mean, at the very least, I know I am because, well, number one, I feel really good. Nothing uh, super fantastic. I think the cold probably masked the initial burst, you know, of like euphoric energy that I had gotten on my previous attempts. Uh, previous, you know, phases during my previous attempt, um, and I think that kind of blocked it out because right about now is when I'd be having that, that experience. And instead, I, you know, the cold sentences are just pretty much almost entirely gone, not 100%, but almost entirely gone. And I just have good energy, I just feel good, you know, I'm not, uh, uh, I don't feel sleep deprived. So, uh, that's uh, that's a very positive thing. So I, I think I'm really close to adapting. And I, again, psychologically, the number one thing that I, makes you feel really good about the whole process is that I have control over that boogeyman. I can I know that if it, you know if he shows up again, I know exactly how to deal with it. You know, just go outside and walk. That's all I got to do. And I'll come back feeling better. And all the time that I'm walking, I won't experience any boogeyman at all. It'll just be a great, refreshing rest for my mind. And having that uh, knowledge and ability is just uh, so powerful because it was the major thing that was holding me back before. So and I'm starting to feel uh, really good about it. I'm not saying that I'm adapted per se, but if I go, um, basically, I mean, if I can go a week without... Uh, yeah, if I don't have anything negative to report in the next week, I'm going to claim adaptation. Um, so that'll be in about three weeks. Uh, closing in on three weeks. So eh, we'll see. Anyway, I don't suppose I'll get any respect until I've done it for a month, I suppose. According to, what's her name, Paradoxic or something like that? Um, it's not Paradoxic. I know it's not. I just It's kind of funny that I called her that, but it's, you know... She's the one that named the Uber man and everything. Uh, it's not toxic doxic. <laughs> it's not paradoxic. It's not toxic doxic. <laughs> Forgot her name, but um, anyway, she's saying uh, it's a, a one month uh, adaptation minimum, which I don't think uh, that's true. And I think people adapt far sooner than that. And I think she even states it herself that people do. 
um, but for some reason in her material she just mentions a month minimum so but anyway that is a good uh, benchmark obviously but if I can if I can show myself going for a week's time without any uh, negative effects I'm adapted so that's that uh, we'll see how we go so far then things are going really good um, and because I'm starting to think this way and I'm starting to feel good about what I'm doing here and, you know my confidence is really soaring and everything um, I'm going to be uh, compiling a uh, how-to video uh, log uh, play uh, list and uh, that's going to break down everything that a person needs to know and a person needs to do in order to break into Uberman's sleep and uh, just step by step everything you need to be aware of all the pitfalls everything you need to do in advance um, and how to deal with the things as they come up and everything just lay it all out put it in a playlist and you know it'll just be either like one long video or maybe several uh, long videos and uh, I'm gonna do that once I've adapted once I can declare uh, adaption or adaptation uh, then I'll make that video too so it's already starting to coalesce in my mind you know uh, I'm gonna go through all my videos write down everything make a huge outline and everything and then just poof, make it and then I get to join the great family of uh, victorious people like uh, Toxic Doxic, <laughs> I just don't remember her name, um, and uh, was Steve Pavlini, is that his name, and um, also, uh, of course, Matthew Armstrong, and then these, I know there's going to be also a large group of people that are in this, uh, how, something like howtopolyphasic.com, or trypolyphasic.com, I think it is. There's a forum there with a ton of people, and uh, and then I heard there's this Google group, okay. And there's going to be a lot of people in there that are also successful, I'm sure. So I'll be able to join with them too. I just don't know their names. I just know that I'm sure that they exist. <laughs> and they just I haven't seen them on YouTube. That's all. Um, so, but I'm looking forward to that because it's a really an accomplishment. And it's a rare, apparently it's still a rare thing. Now, my goal is to make it um, less rare by making these uh, my, these videos, that, uh, this playlist, uh, where I just boil everything down from everything that I've learned, having done it successfully, and just try to pass it on to someone else so they can break into it as well if they want to. That's if they want to do that. So yeah, all right. So I'm feeling pretty good. Uh, and again, I know um, polyphasic sleep is not a um, thing to trifle with, and it's not something to be underestimated as far as its uh, strength, power, and um, you know ability to backlash on you. You know, so I know um, to be careful of uh, early optimism because. Uh, a set, you know, that psychological setback when you mess up <laughs> can be pretty disheartening. But so far, I do have that early optimism, and uh, but uh, I'll take caution and uh, and firm up my resolve to persevere and keep you guys updated. Anything else happens in day 11, I'll let you know. Uh, otherwise, we'll see you on day 12.